Welcome to MMA FanCast. My name's Luke, and I am joined by a friend of the show, the champion, Hunter Showtime. Starner, Hunter, welcome to the show. Hey, Luke. It's good to be back on. It's nice to have you back on the show. Uh, had you on a couple times, got you to got to watch you fight live, um, got to even help put a belt on you when you won the 247 fighting championship belt uh, last time out, which we've already talked about. Today's exciting though. Uh, we are talking because you are under 24 hours away from flying to Thailand uh, for the majority of the summer in order to do more training. Um, just so people who may not fully be aware, you're seven and zero as an amateur fighter in MMA with six finishes, an absolute incredible start to your uh, MMA career. A lot of finishes by submissions, even though you're mainly self-taught and kind of learned BJJ through your wrestling background. You train out of Renegade uh, Combat Sports Gym, which is primarily a Muay Thai gym. So that brings us up. What what led you to now? So what led you to book this trip? What are you planning on doing on this trip? Where are you training? All those wonderful things. You're under 24 hours away from Thailand. So let's get caught up with you. Yeah, so... Um... My original plan was because uh, I was a for my actual job, I was a contractor and my contract ran out uh, or expired in um, March. And so I knew that was going to happen like months out. And so my plan was let that let that run through my contract. And then once that contract ran run out, I'm going to I plan I originally planned on just like going across the country, going to all these big gyms and <laughs> running out of van and living out of a, a van. But then uh, my coaches are the ones that, uh, specifically Michelle, sh she's the one who said, um, hey, why don't you just get your passport and go to Thailand? And honestly, it'll cost the same and you'll most likely will get more out of it. And I was like, that's actually a perfect idea because I've always wanted to go to Thailand and train. And specifically, I'm going to, uh, I booked Thai Muay Thai and Phuket. So I'll, I'll be going there to train. I, I've i watched uh, the like Thai Muay Thai tryouts when they had them in like 2019. I remember watching that when I was at BMI. And I was like, this place looks awesome. So I've always wanted to go to Thailand and train. So that this is like the perfect uh, opportunity right now and moment. And um, yeah, that's kind of what led me up to this decision. Wow, what a what a great opportunity for you. Uh, we've talked before um, that you you're obviously developing a fantastic MMA career. You're going to be going pro at some point. You took on another undefeated fighter when you fought for two four seven fighting championships. When we got to meet in person, you guys were both six and zero, very dominant at the one thirty five pound division. You came out with a really good victory. So obviously your MMA career is going as well as it can be. When you're in Thailand, is there a thought about taking some Thai fights? I asked because um, when I was running a gym out of the Philadelphia area, we got into some Thai stuff. And a lot of the guys that go over and train in Thailand in that culture and in that environment, they, they end up taking sometimes pro fights, sometimes sort of um, gym fights, but there's a lot of emphasis on competition. So have you thought about that or is that going to more be determined once you're over there? Um, I've definitely thought about it. They, my coaches, they have talked about it uh, saying, oh, you might be able to catch a fight while you're over there. And I, if that's the case, I'm all for it. So I hope once I start training and once, you know, get acclimated and get settled in and everything starts going, I hope. I hope they bring out uh, a Thai fight. I would take it in a heartbeat. I, you know, I'm, I'm wrestling's my main game, as we know. But like, you know, I'm going over there to improve my stand up game. And if they can give me a Thai fight, yeah, I, I'd be on top of that in a heartbeat. Super exciting. I think a lot of their Thai fight, uh, as far as they run it, are all pro fights. So you may end up actually having. Uh, a potential pro uh, Muay Thai fight before you ever make your official pro debut in MMA. So it, it's just such an exciting time. Um, are you thinking four weeks, six weeks? Like, what's the time frame right now as far as 
what you what you're planning on. Yeah, so my schedule is I'll, I'll be leaving tomorrow. I won't get there. I won't actually get there till Friday with all the layover time and oh, sure. all the international travel. So that'll be fun. And then, and then I'm actually leaving the 11th of August. So okay. I'll be at, I'll actually be at Tiger Muay Thai for a full month. Yeah. And um, after that, I plan on training at another gym. I'm going to yeah. not just stick to one gym. I'm going to, I'll probably end up staying just in Phuket because Phuket's an island off of Thailand. I thought about going to Bangkok, but that's, that's 12 hours away, and yeah. I fly out of Phuket when I'm done. And so I'll probably end up just staying there and finding a, another Muay Thai gym. Or there's another gym called Bang Tao. And I know right now, uh, like, because of the UFC event coming up this weekend, I know, like, Zhang Wei Li's there and yeah. a couple of, like, UFC fighters who are training since, I guess, the UFC events in Singapore this weekend. And so I, I Maybe might go there, but definitely after this month of training in Tiger, I'll be going to another gym, just you know, experience and everything, and see what's again, see what's out there. One thing that's always exciting about talking to you, it's not just obviously your skills and ability in the cage, it's also the fact that you're approaching this from a very intelligent, intellectual planning uh mindset and so what i what i love to hear is you're giving yourself two full months over there because it's basically exactly two months one month's already planned out and you want to you want to take the opportunity to potentially expand to different to different gyms i i think that's just a very smart thing of course who knows what will actually happen once you're over there i know you might kind of develop a a group of fighters that you like training with or english speakers that you kind of connect to but you've also connected to the fact that the UFC has long said forever. They even have UFC performance institutes in China because they've long said that the Asia, Southeast Asia, Singapore, Philippines, China uh, market is just huge for MMA. And they haven't quite, obviously, you referenced the champ who is Chinese. So that's obviously a huge connection there to, to the Asian um, area. So I, I think it makes a lot of sense that UFC is pushing into that area and obviously for you to kind of uh, follow what the UFC fighters are doing, it probably means those gyms are MMA aware, you know, aware of sort of how to connect to MMA. If, if you were to learn one skill, I'm going to hope it, you say elbows, but it's your answer. If, you, if you're going to learn one skill from Muay Thai, and, and of course you haven't trained over there yet, so it might be something completely different once you get back, once we talk to you in August when you're back. But what skill now do you really want to learn in the Muay Thai, Muay Thai tradition? Um, I mean, this kind of goes with elbows, but being being a really good clinch fighter, right. and, yeah. uh, being really fluent, going from clinch to elbows, clinch to knees. And so that's why I wanted to try to train in Bangkok because there's this gym called FA Group in Bangkok. And they're like known for like being like the bench best clinch fighting gym mm -hmm. over there. So I honestly plan on, even after this trip, I do plan on going again to Thailand, even though I haven't even experienced it yet. So maybe I'll go there <laughs> later on, maybe this year, or eventually I'll definitely go again. But yeah, be, being a better clinch fighter, because that, I feel like, rolls over to MMA perfectly. It really does. That's one of the, that's one of the things that we've seen some wrestlers have used the cage kind of as the mat. And we've seen that. You've done that. We've seen that where wrestlers that understand how to keep their opponent on the mat to the floor can sometimes use that by transitioning it up against the cage. But obviously I don't think there's a better, more well uh, nuanced uh, sport than Muay Thai when it comes to clinching in the open, meaning when you're not on the cage or a cage too, but like literally in the open um, in, in attacking and in defensively. So very exciting stuff. You could be right now, you could be like a tour guide for telling people why they should go to Thailand because you've been listening at all, but it, it, it does make a lot of sense. I've had some friends that have run um, Muay Thai gyms, Juniper gym, a great gym in Philly run by some guys I, I knew out there. And they at one point actually listed the cost difference between training in the United States, which you've mentioned 
and in Thailand, because you can eat cheaper in Thailand, you can train cheaper in Thailand, you can live uh, cheaper in Thailand. And of course, Thailand has become kind of a destination for trainers and fighters like you. So very, very exciting, but you're committing to two months being over there. I love the fact that you're confident enough for that. Um, obviously, we wanna talk in August when you get back, so things may change between now and then. But is your mind to come back now in mid-August, August 11th, and look at a, a pro MMA fight in September, October? Is that kind of your mindset now? Can you talk a little bit about that? You might be completely different by the time you get back from Thailand, and we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there as far as what your plans are once you're back from Thailand. Yeah, so <clears throat> my plan is when I get back, we're already looking at a scheduled fight August 26th in CFFC in Philadelphia. Yep. So we're talking to the promoter now, trying to get the matchup done. And then I am I told my coaches, since I'll be, I think I'll be in amazing shape when I get back, I'm pretty sure I will be. And I said, might as well just take. And my I never, like, get, I'm 135, I never get, that yeah. high in weight the highest i'll get is 150 and that's what i'm like right now 148 150 mm -hmm. and so you know i'm the type of fighter where i don't mind taking back-to-back -back fights so i told him let's do august 26 and then let's turn, go right around short turnaround and do the weekend of september 9th because there's yeah. two fights for that weekend that we're looking at we're looking, looking at the uh richmond fight jorge mazadol's uh Icon, which was literally last Friday. I was actually trying to get on that car, but uh, had a couple of opponents fall out and weren't able to get anything. But they're back in Richmond, September 9th, here in Virginia. And then there's another one, September 10th, Ring of Combat in Jersey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know we've been talking to promoter from them. So I said, let's do August 26th if we can. And let's do the weekend of the 9th and do back to back fights. That's incredible to see how you're, you're already thinking and planning ahead. Obviously, you've had seven fights, seven wins in only a couple of years. So that, that fast pace has really helped you with the CFFC, which is a, a, a big time East Coast uh, regional promotion. Would that be your pro debut? Is that the mindset right now for August 2016? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be my uh, pro debut. And like I, I kind of mentioned the, uh, the icon for him all those fights right. for last week, last week. That was Friday, uh, last Friday. Yeah, that I wanted that to be my pro debut, but like I said, a lot of stuff. It was it was uh, not the bad mouth then, but <laughs> it's just very very disorganized. You know, sure. stuff just didn't happen. And then uh, I was actually trying to fight on a CFFC card the week before that, since the icon was taking too long to find an opponent, and then it was a short notice fight and that fight fell through. So, yeah, but yep. The August 26th, that'll be my pro debut. And that's, that's nice. what we're looking at. So hopefully that gets done. One thing we can always talk about when, when I've been doing this show for a couple of years and people don't think of this when they watch the UFC is regional amateur, regional pro, which was what you're talking about, high level amateur. Um, and then beginning pro it's very, um, it's very fluent. Things change, as you know, all the time. You might get a fight in 10 days. You might be mm -hmm. 10 days out for a fight and it fall through. One thing that was great when when you and Cam Algaier fall is two, two very high-level amateurs that could have avoided each other, that could have said, you know what, you know, not you, you guys took that fight. It was a great fight. And shout out, obviously, to 247 Fighting Championships and other good regional promotions, but clearly I love 247. It is tough. You mentioned it. It's tough to to balance and juggle all the different fights. Sometimes, particularly at amateur levels, there's rule changes, there's weight class differences, there's length of length of fighting differences. You probably know that New Jersey has different amateur lengths of rounds and Pennsylvania, a whole bunch of different things. And so I think one thing that does kind of clear up is the pro level rules are a little bit more consistent. The rounds are always five minutes. Things are a little bit more standard there are some state-by-state -state differences like what's a grounded opponent um and uh foot stomps and things like that but generally speaking pros much more uh standard well thank you for kind of sharing with us you're only 24 under 24 hours away from your flight to thailand so we wish you the best for safety and traveling mercies and all the things you're doing there but it's just very exciting for you um also a shout out to your gym 
the coaches that have brought you up and clearly have a love for Muay Thai and a connection to Muay Thai community. Can't wait. Uh, wish you the best skills. And if you particularly if you have a fight over there, can't wait to talk to you. Hopefully, we can talk about in mid-August, we can talk about Thailand and yep. your pro debut for CFFC all at the same time. I wish you the best. Thanks so much. This has been the champion, many time champion, many time champion, showtime. Hunter Starner, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Luke. Thanks for having me. You got it, brother. Have a good one. Thank you, right. too. Bye-bye. See you in August. All right, bud. Bye-bye. Yep. Thank you.